Hi everybody, welcome to VLSI Point. In today's video, we are going to talk about VLSI physical design in detail. Actually, from a long time, I was getting requests from you guys to make a separate video on this topic. So yes, the wait is over. In today's video, we will uh, try to understand what is physical design, what are the steps involved in this, what subjects you guys need to learn to get into this field, and finally, what is the scope, what is the salary hike, everything we will discuss in today's video. But before that, if you are willing to join VLSI industry, then follow VLSI point. You can subscribe my channel and also connect with our community on Telegram group. Along with that, you can follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram for one to one interaction. So VLSI physical design is a process of transforming logic circuits into a physical design. Here logic circuits are described in RTL that is register transfer level by using hardware description languages like uh, Verilog or VHDL into the physical layout that can be fabricated onto a semiconductor substrate by ensuring optimal performance, area and manufacturability. This physical design process includes floor planning, placement, routing and physical verifications in order to create an IC that meets the specifications while minimizing the cost and maximizing the performance. This physical layout consists intricate patterns of interconnected capacitors, transistors and other electronic components. The primary objective of physical design is to optimize the trade-off between the area, power and performance. Now talking about the steps involved in this. So starting with the floor planning. So in floor planning, we determine the rough placement of logical components like logic cells, memory blocks and IO pads and determining the overall architecture of chip. The primary goal of floor planning is to optimize the chip area. For that, we perform partitioning, power planning, macro planning and IO planning. So in partitioning, we divide the circuit into functional blocks based on their functionalities. However, in case of micro placement, it plays major functional blocks such as processors, memories and IOs. In power planning, we plan the distribution of power and ground networks to ensure uniform power distribution and minimize voltage drops. In IO planning, we allocate space for input and output pads and bond pads. Next is placement. So in placement, we determine the exact location of individual blocks. The goal is to minimize the wire length, reduce the delay and satisfy all the design rules. Now steps involved in this are global placement, detailed placement and legalization. So global placement is the initial placement of cells within the predefined blocks while considering timing constraints and wire length minimization. Next is detailed placement. That is nothing but fine tuning the placement by considering factors like congestion, timing and power. Legalization, which adjusts the placement to ensure it adheres to design rules and meets physical constraints. Next is routing. So routing involves establishing a physical connection between the placed components. So first we perform the floor planning. That means we give a rough position to each and every block then the placement here we need to design the exact location of every block and finally the routing where we uh, have to establish a connection between all those uh, placed blocks. In routing our primary objective is to minimize the wire length and reduce the parasitic effects. So here we perform global routing, detailed routing, clock resynthesis and power routing. Global routing establishes high level interconnections between blocks or clusters of cells. Detailed routing establishes a detailed connections between the individual cells while considering factors like congestion, timing and signal integrity. Clock resynthesis is nothing but designing clock distribution network to ensure clock signals are distributed effectively and with minimal skew. Power routing is uh, routing the power and ground lines to provide sufficient and uniform power distribution across the chip. Finally, coming to the physical verification, which ensures that the layout follows all the design rules and it is manufacturable. 
सो हियर वी परफॉर्म डी आर सी एल बी एस ई आर सी एंड टाइमिंग वेरिफिकेशन सो डी आर सी दैट इज डिजाइन रूल चेक वेरीफाइज वेदर द ले आउट मीट्स द फंडरीज डिजाइन रूल्स रिगार्डिंग द जियोमेट्रिकल कंस्ट्रेंट्स लाइक मिनिमम फीचर साइज स्पेसिंग ओवरलैप एक्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट इज एल बी एस विच इज ले आउट वर्सेज स्केमेटिक सो इट वेरीफाइज द करस्पॉन्डेंस बिटवीन द फिजिकल ले आउट एंड द स्केमेटिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द डिजाइन टू इंश्योर द करेक्टनेस ई आर सी दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिकल रूल चेकिंग इट इंश्योर्स दैट द ले आउट मीट्स इलेक्ट्रिकल कंस्ट्रेंट्स लाइक द सिग्नल इंटेग्रिटी पावर एंड रिलायबिलिटी इन टाइमिंग वेरिफिकेशन इट परफॉर्म्स टाइमिंग एनालिसिस टू इंश्योर दैट द डिजाइन मीट्स टाइमिंग कंस्ट्रेंट्स आफ्टर फिजिकल इम्प्लीमेंटेशन so this is all about what is vlsi physical design now we will see what subjects you guys need to learn if you are willing to make your career in this field so the first and the most important point is electronic design automation tool that is eda tools by using these tools you can easily perform synthesis floor planning placement routing and the verification so for that try to make a good command on cadence what you so synopsis icc mentor graphics calibre and other tools are also there but if you have a good command in these tools also then it will be more than sufficient next is digital and analog circuits so as i already told in my multiple videos that if you guys are willing to make your career in core vlsi then start studying digital electronics and analog electronics in detail these subjects are something which is must for you guys you must have a good command on these digital electronics like the logic gates flip flop counters sequential circuits and all and uh, analog electronics like the uh, bjts mosfets diodes op amps differential circuits next subject is semiconductor devices since you guys are planning to start your career in vlsi physical design and there you have to design layouts so for that it's very important to have a good command a good fundamental on uh, devices how a mosfet is working what is a cmos technology how the fabrication process is done everything you need to know in detail next coming to the scripting languages so if you have a good command on scripting languages like perl python tcl then you can easily use these languages for the automation and data manipulation these languages enhance your productivity and allows you to customize and automate your design flow so finally coming to the career opportunities and scope so day by day the demand of vlsi physical design engineers are increasing but here i am talking about skilled engineers and for that you must have a good fundamental a good command on these subjects which i already explained you in detail as we all are familiar with india's semiconductor industry growth giant companies are coming and doing their investment here set up of fab labs investment on manufacturing different government initiatives like make in india digital india these all are promoting the innovations in semiconductor industries so as the fab labs and research and development centers are increasing definitely the demand for skilled vlsi engineers will also increase but for that you need to prepare yourself what is happening in vlsi industry what technology they are using what trend is going on you need to be familiar with all these things and the best option to get all these knowledge is to join the internships now how you can join internships how to prepare for that how to prepare resumes everything i have uh, explained in detail in my this playlist so check out the videos and definitely it will be very much helpful for you artificial intelligence machine learning internet of things 5g communications these all are cutting edge technologies and if you are familiar with all these things then definitely it will be very beneficial for you india has established collaboration with leading international semiconductor companies research institutes and universities to foster innovation and technology transfer in vlsi field government is giving some major projects to prestigious institutes like iits and nits to promote the research that will eventually create a very strong pillar for the growth of semiconductor industries in india talking about the salary of a vlsi physical design engineer so if you are joining as a fresher then you can expect from 4 to 10 lakhs per annum depending upon your education experience and skills and if you have uh, 
फाइव टू सेवन ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस देन येस इट कैन बी फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी लैक्स पर एन एम और इवन मोर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर एरिया एंड एक्सपर्टीज सो दिस इज इट गाइज दिस इज अबाउट टूडेज वीडियो आई हैव गिवन अ डिटेल्ड आइडिया अबाउट वी एल एस आई फिजिकल डिजाइन स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन दिस वॉट इज द करियर स्कोप वॉट सैलरी यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट एंड हाउ यू कैन प्रिपेयर फॉर द इंटरव्यूज वॉट सब्जेक्ट्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट uh definitely you can prefer some nptel videos also for the physical design that will be uh, very good for you so hit the like button if you like today's video subscribe blsi point we will meet in the next video